Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down Stoanside's gym, and we obtained our fourth badge here in the Galar region. Today, we're going to make our way past the stadium, on through to a brand new area. Hope you guys are ready. I know I'm pumped up. Let's see what we find. On the other side, we've made it to Glimwood Tangle. And this is a very, very mysterious area, as you guys can see. It's dark in here. And what are those? They're like little imps over here? They're running away from us. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like getting to explore new areas. This is going to be a lot of fun. Any areas that have a mysterious chill to it are always some of my favorite. And I got to tell you guys, I'm definitely getting that feeling right now. You can also hit those mushrooms. And it looks like a little imp popped out. Okay, so that is going to be a wild impidimp coming out at us so if you shake the mushrooms the impidimps do come out that's pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and run away from it though i'm not gonna be catching an impidimp i'm trying my best to make my way through here so let's take a look around and see what we can find in this place we got ourselves two full heels i have to tell you guys this reminds me of the lost woods from the legend of zelda i never thought we'd see a place like this in pokemon but this is crazy look how big these trees are they're the size of redwoods they're huge we got ourselves a big route. It also looks like there are going to be some trainers coming up. So we are going to be jumping into our first battle of today. Now before we do that, I want to show you guys some level ups. You guys know that the Stoan side gym was pretty tough. The levels there were around 36. So we were a bit under leveled going into that gym. I trained up our Pokemon. We now have Donatello at 31, Stripes at 33, Raven at 35, Tiny at 35, Bugs at 35, and Savitar is at level 32. I'm hoping that these levels will be enough to push us through here and on to the next gym. We defeated the couple. Couple of what? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me what they're a couple of. Let's go ahead and it looks like we found another TM. Okay. That is going to be TM24 Snore. There's a lot going on in this place. This is pretty awesome. So let's keep going. I'm going to go deeper in past the couple as I did see another trainer over there. Ah, look at that. That's a straightaway. Not going to head that way just yet. I'm sure that's probably the way out, honestly. Oh, another little Pokeball, and we got ourselves two Hyper Potions. Yeah, we'll take all the Hyper Potions we can get. Ooh, where's this taking me? Okay, so this just loops you around. There's a lot going on here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot to take in at once. Let's jump into our next battle. There we go! About time! Our Bugs is going to evolve. I trained Bugs to level 35. Bugs tried to evolve earlier, but I stopped it so that we could see it on screen together. And there we have it! Congratulations, our Bugs evolved into Cinderace! How cool is that? We now have a fully evolved starter Pokemon. So that's Cinderace, the striker Pokemon. It's a fire type. It's skilled at both offense and defense, and it gets pumped up when cheered on. But if it starts showboating, it could put itself in a tough spot. I know how that is. I was showboated a little bit and it can definitely mess up your focus. Bugs wants to learn the move Pyro Ball. Let's check that move out then and see how strong it's going to be compared to the Flame Charge. The Flame Charge is 5100. This is 12090, which is really good. So we are going to get rid of Flame Charge and it looks like we got ourselves a brand new move and a brand new evolution. We learned Pyro Ball and we're ready to keep on going with our new fully evolved starter Pokemon. This is awesome. Would you look at that? That is going to be Morgrim. Okay, I see you Morgrim, I see you. Can we run away from this? I'm not really trying to battle this guy. We did, we got away safely. So there are a bunch of little imps all over this place just hiding around, causing trouble. That's what little imps do. We got ourselves some luminous moss and I am gonna see if we can make our way to that other TM 
Should be up this way. Yeah, there we go. And we got ourselves TM56 U-Turn. That's a great TM. I'll take it. We might have to teach that to one of our Pokemon so that we can switch them in and out. So that seems to be it around here. Let's go deeper and deeper in then. We're definitely going to use another Repel because who knows what's coming up. We've made it to Balanlea. We made it to Balanlea. I didn't think we were going to make it here that fast, but that's how it is. So we are officially at the town of Balanlea, a charming town where the people make their homes among the trunks of the towering trees. I have to tell you guys that right now, this might be one of my favorite towns in this whole place. I like towns that are located in the forest, kind of hidden away from everything. That's what I've always wanted. You know what I mean, Nurse Joy? I just want to own a little place on my own out there with a bunch of trees around it, maybe a couple animals, a couple dogs. That would be a lot of fun. You agree with that, huh, Nurse Joy? That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to remember you, Nurse Joy. I'm going to remember you. So we are not going to use any more repels. But let's talk to the guy at the shop. Since we cleared the mission as so on side, we now have access to a couple more items, which is going to be really, really good for us. We now have hyper potions. About time, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to pick up like 15 of these bad boys. Do we have full heals now as well? We do not. We still have revives. I got eight repels. Pick up a couple more just in case. You never know how long these routes are going to be. Some are going to be short. Some are going to be long. The one we just went through was a very, very short one. So now that we're here in Balanlea, let's take a look around this place and talk to some of the inhabitants and see what we can do. This guy said, I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. Listen for a second. Score Bunny and Sislipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Score Bunny and I are different species, just like Sislipede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I wanted to become a Pokemon once. You can become one. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? Would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Whoa! I wonder what that guy gives you if you do end up helping him out. Hey, what's going on here? Big guy! He said you're looking for Frank. That'd be me, yes. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me? We do, actually. So we handed the old letter to the old man. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why? This says it's from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. Never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula. She looked well. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift you brought. For you brought me back a piece of my youth. We got a choice scarf. Awesome. So we were able to help this guy out. You guys remember we obtained that letter a while ago. Whoa. Hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Bro, what kind of paranormal activity stuff you got going on up in here, man? If they start, you know, mentioning some names... Of some demons, you gotta watch out, dude. You gotta step in. Don't let your children deal with that. Let's check out this other house as well. It seems like there are some goodies in these places, so it's look. It's good to look around. We got ourselves TM42 Revenge. Hey, I'll take it. Revenge is a dish best served cold, as they say, ladies and gentlemen. So if we ever need to, we'll serve it. Do we want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? Sure. Teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus. Pokemon breeder Elena. She said she's gonna teach us a thing or two. So let's see if we can learn a thing or two from her. She's gonna open up with a Dottle. I have Donatello out here. So let's see what we can do. I have a couple moves that are gonna be super effective on it. So this should be quite an easy battle. The Dottler is hanging in there and it flinched. Come on, breeder. I thought you were gonna teach us how to strengthen up our Pokemon without evolving them. And the Dottler is down. We two shot it. We even hit a crit. And there we go. The Dottler has gone down. So far, so good. Let's take that XP. Savitar is going to grow. Raven's going to grow. We defeat a Pokemon Breeder Elena. She said, even though my Dottler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is this Eviolite. There we go. We got ourselves an Eviolite. That's what I thought she was going to give us. Pretty cool. 
Said, if you let a Pokemon can still evolve, hold the Siviolite, Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. And that is very true. You guys ever find a Chansey up in here? Maybe give the Eviolite to the Chansey. Now, it looks like that is going to be it on this side. We got ourselves TM21 Rest. Yeah, I will take it. What is that Pokemon doing up there? Dude, how did you get up there, little Pokemon? You tell me. We also got some Balm Mushrooms. That's great. It looks like we are ready to make our way to the next stadium. That was really, really quick. So let's make our way inside of the Balonlea Stadium as we are ready for our fifth gym challenge. Oh, Challenger Rodri. Hmm, you have four gym badges already. I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Look, even more Pico is wary of you. Wait, more Pico. Don't tell me you actually like Rodri. Oh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? We got Marnie's league card. What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challengers left, you know. So we're mean in the finals. You got that? You're on, Marnie. We'll see you in the finals. What's up, Pokeball guy? All right, let's see what kind of info he's going to give us today. Is that his love in the air? Or is it just his Pokeball? Here, try it out and see for yourself. We got ourselves a love ball. What are you, what are you trying to say, man? You know, we got nothing going on with Marnie. What, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say, Pokeball guy? A love ball is useful to catch Pokemon. All right, well, thank you so much, ball guy. Let's talk to some of the people around here. As you guys heard from Marnie as well, there aren't many people left in the gym challenge. And wouldn't that make a lot of sense, ladies and gentlemen? Would you be interested in trading for the mask I caught abroad? No, we're good. Now that Beat is disqualified, I wonder how many of us are actually left here in the gym challenge. Gym challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Of course. Then please change into your uniform in the locker room. This will not be a mission so much as a test of your quality. It is a very serious examination. That uniform looks good on you. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. Well, thank you so much. We are ready to make our way inside of the stadium. Ah, oh, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you are really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. So my gym mission serves an audition of sorts too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Now let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. We've made it to Opal's gym mission, and here we go. All right, okay, it's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first battle is on its way. We're challenged by gym trainer Annette. She's gonna send it out as Fritzy, and let's see what we can do here. So it looks like Opal is holding auditions. Wouldn't that make a lot of sense? That's why Opal's been going around the region looking for different trainers to fill the spot. We're going to go for the Rock Tomb here onto the Spritzy, and that is going to do a good little bit of damage. We're going to see what we can do here during this audition. The Draining Kiss is coming out. Did a good little bit of damage. Not insane amount, but a good little bit, and it looks like the Spritzy is healing up. Question time. Do we know about Fairy-type's weaknesses? Yeah, it's Poison-types. That's right, one of the fairy type's weaknesses is the poison type. And yeah, we're powered up! That's what I'm talking about, let's go! So random questions are going to be coming out. I hope I don't mess them up too bad. Some of them look like they're going to be easy. Some of them look like they're going to be tough. Here comes the psychic out on us. Tank that out, Donatello. Good work, my friend. Now let's go for the rock tomb. Let's try to do some heavy damage here onto the Spritzy. So we can move on to the next Pokemon and the Spritzy is down. So what Pokemon is going to be coming out next? That is for us to find out. Everybody's gaining levels. I'll take this XP very gladly. Since I know that this gym is probably going to get a little bit tougher up in here, my friends. 
That is going to be a Slurp Up, level 34. And we're going to keep on going with the Rock Tomb. There is no stopping this show today. One more Rock Tomb should just about do it. The Slurp Up is going to go for the Fake Tears. Okay, the Fake Tears Lord, our special defense, but not our speed. Donatello is going to land that Rock Tomb, and it looks like the Slurp Up is down. Have we progressed through the first round of the, the audition, or what else? We defeated Jim Trainer Annette. Then Annette, you're out of here. I'm sorry, but we're the ones who are apparently gonna take over this gym now. Oh, I see. I can't say what Miss Opal would think, but you've at least piqued my interest. See you later, Annette. Is that not the same person? I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Here we go. It's time for the second round of the audition. Next up is going to be Gym Trainer Teresa. She's going to send out a Swirlix. Okay, that's a cute looking Pokemon. Have not seen that one yet. Let's see what we can do. Swirlix is going to be level 34. I'm going to keep dropping that Rock Tomb. You guys already know how it's going to go today. I'm going to drop as many Rock Tombs as I can. We're going to try to get ahead of the competition here. And there we go. Super effective. I see you, I see you, I see you. So, the energy ball is going to be coming out, ladies and gents. Let's go ahead and send out bugs and see what bugs can do. We haven't had the chance to try out our brand new, fully evolved starter Pokemon. Question time. What was the previous trainer's name? Annette. There we go. Correct. I got it. See? There was a reason why I'm remembering that. It's just happening subconsciously. Now it is showtime. I'm going to go for the Pyro Ball here. Let's see how much damage bugs can do. That is so cool. We're like juggling a soccer ball and then we kick it. So that's the Pyro Ball. I'm digging it. Let's get this XP. Next up is going to be Aromatisse. Oh, I am feeling so good then if we're going to be going against an Aromatisse. Let's drop that Pyro Ball one more time. Let's do some damage here, bugs. And the Aromatisse is going to go down. All right. Pyro Ball is super strong. We gained some XP. We defeated Gym Trainer, Teresa. We're moving on through to the third round of the addition. Don't worry about it. Right or wrong, just keep moving forward. I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become the fairy type gym leader. Here we go. It is time for round three of the addition. We're up against Theodora here. Let's see what Theodora's got. She's going to send out a Morgrim. We've seen this Morgrim before. We saw it out there in the wild and we have stripes up in front apparently. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go for the takedown onto the Morgrim. The Morgrim is going to go for the fake out. Oh, and we did flinch. Question time. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go with omelets? Correct! Yeah! So it looks like Opal prefers the cheese omelets. I got it right. What kind of 50-50 question is that? Who is out here asking about breakfast food? Like, what are you talking about? What do you, you got going on, Opal? I think Opal's just out here ready to retire to tell you guys the truth. She's gonna give anyone who beats her gym the chance at being the gym leader, I feel like. Let's go for that takedown one more time. The Morgrim has gone down, ladies and gents. So we're moving on through. Let's see what Pokemon is going to be coming out next as well. My guess it's going to be that Impidimp. No, it's a Gardevoir, actually. Okay. So we will keep out Stripes for the God of War. Level 35. We're also level 35 as well now. So we're getting strong. I've been needing this XP, I'm telling you guys. I trained us up a little bit. But there's only so much training you can do on the routes before things get out of control, before one Pokemon evolves and the other one jumps in. You know how it is, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. I'm going to switch out to Bugs, and let's see if Bugs can take down the Gardevoir. We're level 36 here. We also have the Pyro Balls, so I'm feeling quite good. Let's go for it. And we are faster than the God of War. So let's go ahead and juggle that ball right into the God of War's face. And the God of War is down, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. This has been a lot of fun. I'm telling you guys, I'm really enjoying this. Everybody's gaining levels as well. We defeated Gym Trainer Theodora. 
Hey, good try, Theodora. Good try to all you guys. We're just a lot better at battling. What can I say? We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. It looks like we made it through. So let's talk to this guy. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the gym mission. Now one of you met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader challenger, Rodri? Not just yet. Of course, you probably need to save a record of your progress and whatnot. I'm gonna heal up our Pokemon and we'll be ready to make our way inside of the stadium. We are all healed up and we are ready to make our way inside of the stadium. Now one of you met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader challenger, Rodri? Yes, we do. Right, then head on in. Give my regards to the gym leader. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. Here we go, Rodri versus Gym Leader Opal and her fairy type Pokemon. This battle is on its way. It looks like a Weezing is going to be coming out first. And that is going to be a Galarian Weezing, ladies and gentlemen. We have not seen one yet, but here it is. We also have our Dynamax power ready, which I am going to save for now. So let's do a little something here. I'm going to open things up with the Rock Tomb. It looks like the Weezing is going to be higher level than us. But nonetheless, we're going to try to put some damage out there. We're going to do what we can since we do have six Pokemon ready to go. Here comes the Fairy Wind. And that is not going to do a whole lot. Question time. You, do you know my nickname? Oh, crap. The magic user or the wizard? Maybe the wizard? Yes, we got it correct, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, thank goodness. The wizard over here. We got to watch out for the wizard, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go for another rock tomb here. The wizard has powered us up. So we're doing quite well here against the wizard's wheezing so far. The wheezing is going to go for another fairy wind. And that fairy wind is not doing a whole lot to us. As long as the questions aren't coming out 50-50 every single time. And I have to sit here and guess them. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. That wheezing is almost out of here. Here comes another fairy wind. And I'm feeling good tanking it out. Now, you guys can see that Donatello is only level 33 as well. So the fact that our level 33 Pokemon is standing up to a level 36 Pokemon is a big deal. That means that Donatello is very strong and that we're doing quite good. That is the first Pokemon down. Let's see what's coming out next. It's going to be a Mawile. We're going to keep this going then. I'm going to send Donatello still. Let's see what we can do here against the Mawile, ladies and gentlemen. Mawile's Intimidate has hit us for a little bit. Are we going to be faster than the Mawile? Question. What is my favorite color? It's got to be pink. That's what I like to see in other people, but it's not what I like for myself. No! Opal's favorite color is purple? How the fudge was I supposed to know that? All right, I'm going for the water gun here. On to the Mawile. It's not going to do an insane amount. Here comes the crunch, ladies and gentlemen. And the crunch has took us down. Let's see what we can do then. I'm going to send out Bugs here. And it's time for Bugs to make an entrance. Bugs, I hope you're ready. Level 37 as well. And I have to tell you guys that our fully evolved Pokemon really does look like Bugs Bunny. Like, we really, really do. So I like that nickname a whole lot. That Pyro Ball is going to take down the Mawile. Super effective, baby. You already know how it's going to be. Who's coming out next? We're all gaining XP. Everybody's growing to like level 37. This is awesome. Next is going to be a Togekiss. I'm going to switch out. Let's get Tiny in here for the Togekiss. It's going to be a lot of fun to mix up our Pokemon now that they are well trained. I'm really glad that I trained them up just that little bit. With that combined with the route, it pushed our Pokemon right over the levels that I wanted them to be. And it caught us up here with this gym. So Togekiss, level 37. I'm going to go for the Spark here onto the Togekiss. 
And it should do a lot of damage to this Pokemon. The Togekiss is down at half. We managed to paralyze it as well. Here comes a draining kiss. I'm not too worried about it. That actually healed it up for a good bit. Not an insane bit, but a good bit. Let's go for another spark here, Tiny. The Togekiss is barely hanging in there. Here comes another draining kiss, though. If we can tank this one out. Oof. Wow, that does a lot. We should be able to take it down here. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Question time. Alrighty then. How old am I? You gotta be 88. Well, you're not wrong, but you could have been a little more sensitive. How is that fair? Are you kidding me? That doesn't make any freaking sense. Okay, so Opal is absolutely just rigging this. That's what's going on here. Opal just likes rigging this whole thing. I got it. I see you, Opal. We understand it now. Opal's gonna rig this competition as best as she can. Like, who would have thought there to answer 16? Are you kidding me? I would have not have guessed that. How was I supposed to know? I feel like I'm going to have to pick the opposite of what she wants us to pick now. So if another question comes out, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick the opposite. All right, let's go for the discharge end here, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like the Togekiss is paralyzed. So let's take it down, Savitar. Togekiss is down. And now it is time for Opal's last Pokemon. I hope you guys are ready. It's going to be an Alcremie. We're going to keep our Pikachu up in front. My morning tea is finally kicking in and not a moment too soon. Here comes the Alcremi. It is level 38. Oh, it's Alcremi. I see it now. It's made out of cream. I like it. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Here it comes. Her Gigantamax Pokemon. And that is going to be the birthday cake. That is Alcremi. The birthday cake Gigantamax Pokemon. I was not expecting that one bit. But I am going to go for the Thunder Wave. And it avoided it. You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. Here comes the G-Max Finale. Wow! That did a lot, ladies and gentlemen. That did a lot. So it is time to switch things up. We're going to send out bugs. And it is time for our Dynamax as well. I like to save the Dynamax for when they bring out the Dynamax. I think this is going to be a perfect time for it. So we're going to Dynamax and we're going to go for the Max Flare. Bugs? This one's for you, my friend. Our bugs is huge and it looks like we are also ramped up and ready to go so let's get this gigantamax battle on its way we're gonna go for the max flare onto that cake the cake is down to half we are melting that cake here ladies and gentlemen that's what I'm talking about and the sunlight has turned harsh G max finale is gonna be coming out take it out bugs that does nothing to us let's go so we're gonna wrap this battle up I'm feeling very, very good. Alcremi restored some of that HP, but we are going to go for the Max Flare yet again. So, Bugs, let's do it, baby. Melt that cake. The Alcremi is down. Bet that was an ice cream cake because that thing melted real, real fast. We're going to gain some XP. We defeated Gym Leader Opal! Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. We got 60-80 for winning. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next Gym Leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. Thank you, Opal. We have obtained our fifth out of eight badges here in the Galar region. We got three more to go. 
We can now catch Pokemon up to level 45. Take this TM with you too. Little bonus from this old lady. We got TM87 Draining Kiss. Thank you. Lastly, here's a little sum for humoring me. This might help add a little more pink to ya. <laughs> we got the fairy uniform. Of course it's not good to neglect your elders, but old fool like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. You received the TM from Leader Opal, yes? The next gym waits for you in Sir Chester. You guys heard it here first? We're headed to Sir Chester next. Hold on now! I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too after all. Oh sure, with pleasure. They say two's company after all. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Opal has brought us back to Hammerlock, as this will be where we're continuing next time. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got three more badges to go. Goodbye.